Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my paper mache turtles. Hopefully you guys enjoy them as much as I do. Now my paper mache turtles are made from recycled cardboard, so I hold on to any of my grits, cereal, anything like that, the cardboard from it. And first thing I do is take these boxes and disassemble them. So go along the seam that's on them, unfold them, stack them up. Um, if you guys have seen my other videos, my Cheap October, I actually like to cut the nice big square pieces out and save those for other pieces of artwork. But this leaves the little bits and I just decided to use them for other crafts, hence the paper clay. So I have a paper cutter here that I use to cut mine. This paper cutter was gifted to me. My mom, I believe, found it at a yard sale and gave it to me. So after I go through and trim my big pieces for art, I can use it to go through and cut the little tabs and bits. If you don't have a paper cutter, you can always use scissors as well. So don't think that you're limited by a paper cutter. Once you're done, you're gonna set your big pieces to the side save them for another art project later and pull those little bits and cut them up even smaller again i'm using a paper cutter you don't have to use a paper cutter to do this it does make it much quicker though we're going to take those little bits Add them to a bucket, add water, enough to cover all of the bits, almost like cereal. And after soaking for 24 hours, we are going to blend them into a pulp. I have my blender here, an old tote, piece of fabric, and some water. You're just gonna take some of your little paper cuttings, put them in your blender, Add some water to it. I don't actually have a ratio for this. After you do it for a while, you'll start to get the feel of your blender and how much paper to water you need. Once it's done blending and you don't see any more large chunks of cardboard in it, you're going to strain that using your piece of fabric. So see, you can see where it's pulpy, no big chunks of cardboard. So taking my fabric, I'm gonna pour this pulp into the fabric. Now the fabric is gonna work like a strainer. I don't have a strainer that is large enough in capacity and small enough in holes. So I just use this piece of fabric and wring out all the water. After you wring out the water, you'll have just a ball of pulp. We're gonna recycle the water for the next batch, pour it back into the blender, and add some more of our cardboard to it. And from there, we just repeat the steps of blending and straining with the fabric over and over. Once we have all of our paper mush, we are going to take our turtle pan, wipe it out, make sure that there's no pet hair or debris. Spray a non-stick spray. Mix our paper pulp with some Elmer's glue. And then just take your pulp, which is now your paper clay, and pack it into your mold.
You do want to make sure that you are packing it down to get all of those little ridges and details. So this process can take a little bit. Once you have finished packing all of your paper clay into your turtle, let him dry for 24 hours. Here we have the turtle after he has sat for 24 hours. We are going to take the pan, flip it over, give it a couple taps to make sure that the clay comes loose, remove the pan, and voila, your own paper clay turtle. Thanks guys for tuning in. This is Fox from Foxfoot Crafts.